hello all welcome to jd tutorials this video is a part 3 of creating azure resource manager bot in the first two parts we saw creating a service principle in azure using powershell and how to get azure access token using postman in this third part we will learn calling Azure REST API using Postman. Let's get started. First, we'll need to import our Postman collection. We click on this. I'll be giving this link in the description. Collection Azure REST API imported. We had imported the similar collection in our last tutorial as well, which contained get AD token. For the latest of and today's video, we'll see all the three REST API requests. The first one of them is get AD token. The next we'll see get resource groups. This will get all the resource group which are present in my subscription. And the last will create a resource group using the REST API. Okay. In the last video, we saw how to get a access token where we had created an environment variable. And using this environment variable, we'll be calling this get resource groups and create resource group. Okay. The first thing we'll have to get the access token. Okay. If you've seen our last video, we have declared this variables. Now I won't be declaring as of now. If you want to learn how to add this environment variable, I'll be putting the link in the description. Okay. I'll directly get the access token so that this will be the next point of action for our uh, rest next two apis we have got the access token now when we move to the get resource groups now what information this contains get resource group we require a subscription id we require a bearer token that we have already got from the by running this get ad token that get automatically saved in bearer token variable okay now we'll edit our environment variable to declare the variable subscription id we go to this one we edit the environment variable we add a new environment variable that is subscription id subscription id okay now let me put my value and save this variables update close this one now we'll run our get resource group API. Send the request. Here we got the response as the list of all the resource group present in my subscription. Currently I have only two resource group that is why it is showing two. Fine. Now let us create a resource group. In this one, what we have to declare a subscription ID, a resource group, and we have to mention at what location you have to create your resource group. Currently, I'll be using ES to ES, and we haven't declared resource group. So let us declare a resource group in environment variable. Again, edit the environment variable. I'll add the variable resource group
and I'll give the value as uh, demo one RG. I'll be creating the resource group with this name demo one RG at location east to US. Okay, now let us send the request and let us see the response. The response is ID its subscription my subscription id and resource group and demo one rg it has created the name is demo one rg and the location is east us fine yeah that's all thank you all